Congratulations. What a terrific performance. Many, many congratulations. What an exciting night that must be. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, something rather different. Tonight we are celebrating a great British tradition. And tradition is something we do very well in Britain. Some of our noblest families go back many, many centuries, and some <clears throat> popped over from Germany a lot more recently. <laughs> Perhaps our oldest and most celebrated family of all is the Black Adder dynasty. And now, representing the current generation of malcontents, a please welcome from Her Majesty's Royal Regiment of Shirkers, Captain the Lord Edmund Blackadder. <clears throat> All right, settle down. Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, the world is changing and Her Majesty's armed forces must change with it. <laughs> Consider Britain and its position in the world today. At the beginning of the last century, just 100 years ago, Britain kept the peace in a quarter of the entire globe. The sun, as they say, never set on the British Empire. Now, what have we got? <laughs> the Channel Islands. <laughs> the Germans have bought Rolls-Royce. All the newsreaders are Welsh. <laughs> Although, that may not be relevant. <laughs> and most foreigners think that the Union Jack is based on an old dress design for one of the Spice Girls. <laughs> So what is to be done? Well, the answer to my mind is very simple. If we are to re-establish our position in the world, the army must return to its traditional role, the very reason for which it existed in the first place. We must invade France. <laughs> Our advanced guard of mad cows has already done a superb job. <laughs> and the French are in disarray. Now is the time for actual occupation. <laughs> now you may say, why France? Well, that's a very good question. But I can think of three reasons. Firstly, whenever we try to speak their language, they sneer at us and talk back to us in English. <laughs> God, they are so irritating. Secondly, they deliberately won the World Cup by maliciously playing better football than us. <laughs> and thirdly, simple political strategy. Look at the history books. Whenever Britain fought the French, we were top dog. For 500 years, from Agincourt to the Battle of Waterloo, Britain went from strength to strength and gained the greatest empire the world has ever known. The minute we start getting chummy with the garlic chewers. <laughs> Within three short decades, we're buggered. <laughs> Hello, obvious connection alert. So that's the secret. If Mr. Blair wants us to be at the heart of Europe, let us simply go to the heart of Europe. <laughs> Gather together those submarines which don't leak. <laughs> Prime those rifles which do not jam. Get the army to Waterloo Station, buy 55,000 tickets on the Eurostar, and invade France. <laughs> or, we could just wait for the Euro to drop a bit more and then simply buy the place. <laughs> Just a thought, sir. Just a thought. Lord Blackadder, ladies and gentlemen. Great treat to see him back. And now, 